since we're talking, it. since we're talking about money and you know, money where makes the world go round. All right. <laughs> and it really does. You do need it. Yes. You know, and it, talk to us about, well, first of all, let me, let me say that, that from what you and I have both seen, you know, divorce can be devastating, emotionally taxing and financially draining. So it's all those things. So a woman, although I'm sure you represent men too, but since a lot of the people that are watching us right now are women, um, they come to you. What do you, you know, how do you talk to them? How do you coach them, counsel them about first about the money? aspect like what what the picture is going to look like for them as they're hiring you during the process and then like life you know once they have a divorce right. okay and then the the follow-up question is you know how um estate planning you talk to them about estate planning and what needs to change right, right. so about so, the money mm -hmm. so the first thing i would say to to a woman is you, you need to trust your instinct, okay? Take your head out of the sand. This is just not the time. So when we're talking about money and finances and divorce, you know if your marriage is in trouble. Absolutely. And if you are thinking, yeah, yeah, Angela, I, I, I hear you. I'm, I'm resonating with that. I know, but I don't know what to do. So the first thing I would say is you need to take stock of, of everything that you have. You need to do an inventory. You know, what are the finances? And it's okay if you're saying my husband took care of everything. Right, because that because that happens so often. Oh, so often. I, look, I I I'm in that situation, right? I, I'm an attorney, I, but I was a stay-at-home mom for 14 years. Let me ask, let me ask, are there, if there are any stay at home moms, you know, or former stay at home moms who have like entered the workforce again, let us know in the, let us know in the comments and, and let us, again, let us know where you're listening from. Make sure that you go on to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook so that we can actually see your comments. But Angela, please continue. Right. Right. So PTA would be the first line on the resume. That's what happened to me. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so it's okay to just think about what we have and what don't we have. And you want to, to the best of your ability, go ahead and set up an account or two at a totally different bank where mm -hmm. they don't know your husband. Cause a, a lot of times, you know, we're able to go in and say, Oh, Mrs. Hanson, I know you, Steve, he's your husband. We know him when we'll just share information. You need to be away from that, that situation. Um, and you need to be squirreling things away. And, and we have some, I won't call them tactics, but I, I have some things that I can share with clients to help them to prepare um, to have some money set aside. Because look, divorce takes longer than you think. It costs more than, than you thought you were going to pay. You know, estate planning. Look, if you know that things aren't right in your marriage and you have advanced directives and you've named your husband as, as your substitute for yourself to make these decisions, but you know things aren't right, do you really want him be the one saying pull the plug or don't pull the plug or do this or do that? Your last will and testament. Yeah, it'll cost you a little bit more, but you need to get one a new one done when you're thinking about divorce. You can always tear it up later. Mm -hmm. But if you're thinking about divorce and you know that you and your husband had mirror wills, I give you everything, you give me everything, but you know that he's off with Susie Q, hmm. get your head out the sand. It's okay. The Bible says be wise as a serpent. Yes. harmless as doves that will harm anybody for you to take take care of that little business and then put it aside later if things work out so last will and testament you want to make sure you know what are you going to do about your kids in college most of us unfortunately we think you know it's going to be taken care of our husbands are going to take care of it or we have this or that you 
you, you need to decide how, what you have, what are you going to be able to do with what you have? So I always tell my clients that they need to be looking into estate planning, even though that they're going to have to go back once the divorce is final, if they get divorced and, and do another estate plan, um, guardianship for your kids, better you to, to put that in your estate, what you would want the guardianship to look like so that um, that estranged spouse who hasn't seen the kids in 10 years doesn't just get to come in and take them without a fighting chance for the person who's been raising them. You know, you know Angela, you so much of, of what we're talking about um, can seem um, overwhelming um, and not just, you know, divorce, but the estate planning portion as well. But, you know, this whole series is about empowering women. And the message that I think that you and I are both, you know, communicating is that there are tools, there are professionals out there and you do not have to go it alone. And in fact, you shouldn't, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, I, you know, I run a, a, an estate planning firm, but I have an accountant. I have people do my payroll. Why? Because I don't need to wear all those hats, but exactly. you hire people, yeah. you hire yeah. the people that do what they do well. They come to you when they need family law advice and their right. divorce law, if they're right. you know, contemplating a divorce, they go to the people that know what they're doing. Right. Yeah, a little, yeah. Yeah, I say that. I don't dabble. That's why I, I do divorces now and I do custodies, you know, as they relate to divorce and property settlement. Yeah, I, I no longer dabble. I, I, I will send people to you for estate planning. I send people to, you. you know, to the right attorneys for, right. for whatever else that they're doing, adoptions. No, no, no dabbling. And, and look, our clients and you guys, you deserve, you deserve to have the best um, the people who are focused on, on what they're doing, as opposed to, you know, folks who do 15 different things. That, that's my humble opinion. I couldn't do it. I want to I want to give you my absolute best.